morning all, it's Saturday morning. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just off to um, to do a park run this morning. I'm currently in uh, in North Norfolk. Uh, we're staying in Hunt Stanton this weekend. And uh, I'm just driving along the uh, coastal path along to uh, Holcomb Hall to do the Holcomb Park Run. See you all there. Here we are, Holcomb Hall. Pretty impressive. So, that's what you call Palladium architecture. I hope I've got that right. So let's have a quick closer. I need to keep moving because I'm supposed to be warming up, but I'm just a little bit taken back by the scenery. So you just, after all, I'm here to do a park run as well. I'm also here to show you Holcomb Hall. So it's 18th century, and I think it opened in 1760 something. Let's have a little closer look. Ice house there. 26 men the whole day to fill up with ice until 1912 when they installed a ice making plant in the actual hall. So. so it looks pretty well organised so far. Uh, people starting to arrive now. Car parking is uh, normally £5. But they set up a, like a temporary, temporary car park on the grass. So I just changed my running shoes into my track track session uh, running shoes. Just thought it'd be nice this morning, just to try and push push a, a little bit. Uh, treating it as a as per usual, starter base. It's a tempo, 5k tempo run. So all part and parcel of the training. So apparently it's um, it's one lap, and it's uh, a mixture of uh, tarmac surface and some uh, like a sort of a gravelly hardcore type path. So there's a few people here, quite a few people warming up. So looking at last week's results, there's about 100 100 runners. So that's the briefing done. So we've got about four minutes for the start. Looking forward to this one. It's going to be nice and scenic. I'm just going to enjoy it. Another beautiful sunny morning on a Saturday. It's like a miracle, isn't it? For the last few weeks. Normally it's a bit of raining, but no. So welcome to Hulk Bay. Three, two, one. Yay! First 800 meters, all uphill. Oh. We're turning left now at the bottom here. So, first turn. Uh. Well, at least I'm, 
I just feel like I'm struggling a bit but at least I'm putting in a, a decent Saturday morning effort which is what it's all about just running past the uh, great barns in the old days when it was a grand manor house so it's just over halfway now <coughs> almost I thought you were to me nah. <laughs> It's a bit breezy this morning, but it's lovely and warm. We're on the return leg now. It's one long straight road back. There's a bit of a climb coming up to where the monument is. Right, get this climb done up to the best or first what it's called monument monument or bisque I think it is I really need to just dig in here try and get keep the momentum going off the top of the hill and then down to the finish not a bad view there it's a tough course as it goes so we go slightly off the path to avoid the uh, kettle grates obviously you break your ankles not a bad view the only good thing is basically an 800 meter <coughs> drop down to the finish Thanks so much. Well done. So that was a uh, P12. I was saying it's all about the uh, Saturday morning tempo run. I was pretty happy about that. It was a good effort. Picked up a good bit of pace on the last 800 meters. It was slightly downhill, so that no, was a good one. Enjoyed that. Highly recommend it. So that's quite a good system that saves a bit of time for the uh, volunteers. Brilliant, so you're recording. I'll mention that to my uh, home park one. Holcomb Hall was actually built for the Earl of Leicester, T.W. Coke. And this was a memorial put up for him, obviously when he passed away. Pretty impressive. I wonder that's in there. It's a good job that we had some intelligent people back in them days because the people in charge of the country these days, it just makes you wonder how we, uh, how we survive. Pretty impressive, I have to say. And then I've got a good view back there to the back of the house. That's basically their back garden, and their front garden's even bigger. And you've got the abyss right over the back of the house over there, which we ran past during the part one. So I'm going to head back towards the car now. So, my thoughts on uh, Holcomb Hall Park One. It's not it's pretty fast, I've got to say, and I think if I if I was feeling a little bit fitter and stronger, and possibly concentrating a little bit more on the running rather than running with the camera as well, I probably would have been able to shave a few seconds off. But to be fair, I'm a little bit sore from last week's training, and uh, I did sort of slightly jar my knee yesterday working as well. I was doing a bit of ladder work, and uh, I just slightly jar jarred it, just very tweak, and it was okay after, but it just felt a little bit. A little bit sore this morning but it's absolutely fine now it's obviously just a little bit of a uh, just overuse really over the last few weeks and uh working as well doesn't help but um I, yeah so basically the holcomb hall i definitely recommend it i mean it's it's an incredible um estate a very very slow walk here i'm pretty close to the deer i'm just a little bit gutted that's the only thing with the gopro there's no zoom lens but 
chipped oak tree. I believe it's been there since 1540. Ah, I don't know if you can hear the deer. They're pretty noisy buggers. I'm going to take a very slowly walk round. I don't want to startle them. I don't want to upset their uh, Saturday morning natter. Impressive. Don't want to get too close. I don't even know if uh, with deer are aggressive if you approach them. So just keep my distances. I just don't know. You can literally spend the whole day here just walking around the estate. It's pretty impressive. So I think that's me done for today. <laughs>